ladies and gentlemen, New York City just had an earthquake. And let me be the one to tell you, after all my life living in here in New York City, I had never felt anything like that ever. We just had a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. And if that was a 4.8, I'm scared to see what a 7.5 is. Like what happened with Taiwan. That was nuts. New York City is definitely not built to have what is built for earthquakes. But how old our infrastructure is and how old this city is, if we was to get anything above a 6.57, it would be a catastrophe. But let me show you some clips, even from my own life. I went live just a couple minutes after it happened. Probably should have called my mom. But let me show you some clips from other people in New York who experienced this, even some news clips. Because y'all, this, we can't have this again. Okay, so before I show you any more details, I want you guys to look at this. Tewksbury, New Jersey at 10.23 a.m. New York City, one mile from Tewksbury, New Jersey. 4.8 earthquake magnitude. I don't know how this could, mind you, it's a 4.8, right? This is a 4.8 not originating in New York City. Imagine if there was, like, New York City is very sensitive to earthquakes, but I hope everyone in Tuxbury is good, safe. I know they had it worse, obviously. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of the moments that were captured where people from New Jersey and New York had these earthquakes. Some of these earthquakes was captured via ring camera, people's cell phones while they were recording for a video, TikTok, FaceTime, you name it. These are crazy footages. Watch this. Brother, New York is having a fucking earthquake. I swear to God, New York is having a fucking earthquake right now. I swear to fucking God, New York is having a fucking earthquake right now. Is this an earthquake? Yo, is this an earthquake? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, am I in an earthquake? Yo, my house is shaking. Yo, what the Coming in from some startled folks saying, did you feel that? Did you feel that? And someone who actually did feel that is Jill here. She's a student at Rutgers University. Jill, thank you so much for uh, being live on the show right now to talk about this earthquake. It was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. What did you experience moments ago? So I was laying in my bed and my whole apartment building just started shaking. Mm -hmm. And I freaked out. I was like, what's happening? I yeah. didn't, I've never felt an earthquake before in my life. So it was very scary. The whole, my whole bed shook, everything shook. Wow, wow. And and, and what, would, what were you thinking when that was going on? I mean, did you think earthquake at first? No, I thought I was in a dream, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was real. Yeah, it's, it's definitely quite startling. And like I said, uh, just moments ago, I was sitting inside the news truck and the truck started swaying. I thought it was uh, gusts of wind. Apparently, uh, I guess the, and, and John, correct me if I'm wrong here, the, the proper terminology uh, for the magnitude, I know it was a 4.8 and it was felt, I believe, in Lebanon, New Jersey. I guess that was the epicenter, yes, uh, essentially. Right. And again, correct me if I'm wrong no, on the terminology. Okay, so 4.8 in Lebanon, New Jersey. Lebanon. Now, the mm -hmm. next thing we're going to to worry about is how deep was it? And you, we talk about primary waves, secondary waves. But, uh, right. so, 
Elijah, everybody's talking about it, right? Everywhere you go. I mean, people, it, it's Everyone it's is unnerving. talking about it, including Jill, yeah. <laughs> you see, from those reactions, you already know, like, New York City, we're not built for that. We're not built for this. And I'm hoping that we just don't have nothing like that again. All this has to happen three days before an eclipse. Can this get any more stranger? I even got an alert from my iPhone with the uh, emergency alert saying that aftershocks may be felt. So hopefully this doesn't happen again.